Hey, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. Uh, we have an awesome guest on the line. Ashley is a friend of mine. We actually went to high school together, and she's done a lot of real estate and done some a lot of other really cool things, um, including a foundation that I'm super excited to uh, go to an event this Friday called the Butterfly Effect Foundation. So, Ashley, let's start with um, just like as far as, you know, most people listening to the call are interested in real estate. What? Tell us a little bit about what real estate you have done. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me on. Um, so a little bit about myself. I've, I love real estate. I was a realtor back in 2006, but quickly realized at the time, being a single mom, um, I didn't want to give up my nights and weekends <laughs> away from the kids and their club sports and school sports. So, um, you know, I, I truly believe um, everyday Americans can become millionaires through real estate, um, through home ownership and other real estate investing. So I've done a lot in terms of real estate from traditional long-term rentals, Airbnb, seller finance, um, kind of done it all. And I just love the real estate game and the creative ways to make money through private property. So That's a little cool. bit, yeah, a little bit about the past. I used to work for the Arizona Association of Realtors as the realtor party director has nothing to do with parties or directing uh-huh. parties, <laughs> but it's the Realtors of um, Arizona Political Action Committee. So it's the largest super PAC in Arizona. So we would educate city council members, state legislators, members of Congress about private property rights and the real estate industry. Um, it was, I'm not sure if it still is, but I'm assuming it is. It's the largest trade association in Arizona, but it has an extremely strong voice in uh, shaping public policy. So That's cool. That's great. So, I know that uh, you and your dad have always been supporters of mine. You guys have shown up to events here and there over the years, and I appreciate that. Was your dad that helped get you into real estate? Yes, absolutely. So my dad loved real estate as well. It was almost a side hobby. He did low voltage is how he really made his money, Um, central vacuums, home theaters, you know, things like that. But he just had a love for real estate. So he he became a general contractor and built a couple million dollar homes, you know, just for fun because it was a challenge. <laughs> yes. um, but but then he got then he went through you and bought several properties at wholesale with you, and held on to a lot of them. Um, and he had several rental properties. Um, he did pass away to cancer um, about seven years ago, and my mom just didn't have the love for real estate like he did, so she didn't hold on to those. Um, they made a lot of money. Um, from real estate, and I just, I love the concept. Yes, that's great. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty important as parents uh, of our children, they're watching every single move, and, you know, they, if you want them to get into real estate, um, most definitely they will if you put passion and love towards that, right? I know my oldest is totally involved uh, with real estate now and working with me, and I know that you just mentioned Zachary when, you know, he's got an interest for real estate, and he's actually came to my office and yes. found me it. And so I think that's really cool. Um, well, real estate's awesome. I know you have a lot of, uh, you know, things that you do. You've always got so many uh, balls in the air as far as what you're juggling in life and in business. And that's what, why I've always looked up to you. And, and you it seems like you accomplished so much. And so tell us a little bit more about the, uh, the uh, butterfly effect. Yeah, so the Butterfly Effect is a nonprofit that I finally put a 501c3 behind it. Before, it was just something I was doing with friends. Um, We mentor girls aging out of foster care and um, spent a lot of time and money and and things like that. And, you know, people will give you money and we would go buy a car for a young lady um, that doesn't have parents or grandparents that can help, you know, support that or help pay for summer camp. Um, clothing, things like that. And I was like, you know what? A lot of people are just giving money. I should probably get a 501c3 so I can do a 990 and everyone can see exactly where the money is going. So yeah, we really just inspire meaningful connections with these young ladies through Christ-centered mentorship. And we just try to build partnerships to provide either employment opportunities or truly life-changing outcomes. Um, And so back to you and my son, you've been amazing mentor um, just for so many I'm sure a lot of people on this call also but so my son he's now 23 he plays division one football and he's back at the University of Central Arkansas but we started hopping on your morning mastery calls from the very beginning I think 
during his Christmas break. So I think your first call was December 11th. Does that sound about right? Yes, yes. 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 So we would listen and bounce ideas back off of one another um, anytime we would hear a new concept. But back to butterfly effect, a lot of these girls have no idea um, that they can even get into real estate investing or what even real estate investing means. And so we have these one-on-one mentorships where I make all of my girls go through Financial Peace University. I think I did hear you kind of, you know, talk down about my Dave Ramsey, but (laughs) I'm a huge Financial Peace University enthusiast. Um, I truly believe people can live debt-free and in the future invest debt-free. I think it's a game changer for your investment properties. If you don't have a mortgage, especially if, I don't know, a pandemic happens, Um, but owning nobody anything is life-changing and so in my house it's a requirement for my kids or it was when they were in high school to take the nine-week financial peace university course and before they graduated high school and so the girls I mentor I encourage them and we take the courses as well and it's truly just the seven baby steps saving for emergencies paying off all your debt and building wealth and none of these girls have even in their mind that they can save $10,000 for an emergency fund. And so I try to just encourage them, hey, it's going to be less stress. You're going to have no anxiety, you know, related to to money issues if you can do that. So, yeah, we just walk side by side with these girls that are aging out. You know, our demographic is 15 to 21. um, But a lot of them, you know, they live in group homes. They're not being taken to the bank. So we go and open bank accounts with them. They're not, um, no one's sitting with them to study for their permit test. So we'll do that. We take them for driving. Um, you know, it's, it's a little scary, as you know, yeah. driving with new teenagers. <laughs> 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 uh, but it's just, it's just the love that they're lacking. And, um, yeah, we just kind of walk hand in hand with them. That's really cool. I mean, that what a special, special thing that you're doing. And that cause is just so beautiful. I, I just couldn't even imagine, you know, being in a group home and uh, not having the direction and then having to exit uh, exit that group home. I know there's uh, a few special needs kids in my neighborhood, and one of them that gets to come home every Wednesday afternoon. And, uh, you know, he, he is just so concerned um, about this program and about exiting it and constantly asking, like, who's going to take care of him? Can he come live with me? And it's just so sad just to see in their eyes the fear of uh, facing the real world. And yeah. you know, and honestly, as you know, I mean, they've got to be successful in, in that. It's, a, it's like you said, it's like having a, a, just a bank account, something that simple. I mean, that's something that we do is take our kids to do when they're 12, 13, 14 years old. Exactly. Teach them about a bank account. And these guys are just so much older and don't even know that concept. And like you said, just having that relationship with money. I'm a big believer that um, a relationship with money could be compared to or similar to the same way we have relationships with our spouses or our kids. I mean, either we have a good relationship with money or we don't have a good relationship with money. And how do we get on the right side of having a good relationship with money? And that's just understanding how money works, how it comes in, how it comes out, and uh, just all the things that go around that. So yeah. That's really, really cool. Ashley, thank you so much for your focus there. Like I said, I'm super excited to come Friday night and stop by. And thank you. See all the good you guys got going on. Well, and I, I tell some of the girls, I, you know, um, some of the girls I'm mentoring are a little young, but there is one that's 17, and I'm like, hey, try to jump on these calls. Now, she doesn't know anything about real estate, but it's just everything about I, – I, I love the calls because your, <laughs> your morning mastery is 15 minutes, so it's super quick. But you also have a wide range of real estate and family-friendly content, and these girls can learn so much just by your guest. I yes. What I do is I, I write down the topic and guest for each morning, and I've already flipped back several times to connect with your callers. So I'm awesome. currently working – yeah, I'm currently working with Richard, Flat Fee Realty, oh, one cool. of our properties in Tucson. Yep. Nice. And then um, one of your one of the guests that you had on piqued my interest for this co-living space, and so – I attended a small event where I met a pad split coordinator and one of the girls that is aging out of foster care, I connected him with her and yes. she's actually looking at that. So yeah, you guys drop gold nuggets all the time. I I love your guests and um, I think it's really good for the girls just to hear, you know, the different topics and so they can kind of, you know, just a little bit understand um, what real estate means and how you can make money through it. So yeah, thank you wow. for what you do. 
Oh, thank you so much. I, I didn't even think about the uh, ad split idea for these girls exiting the program of foster care. That, it's that's amazing because, honestly, they only get a certain amount. If, if you know anything about foster care, they don't just drop them at 18. Now, the kids can not sign the extended foster care um, program. But if they, so if they decide to not, you know, okay, yes, they're on their own at 18, but they can sign an extended, and so it goes through 21. So the state doesn't just kind of drop them, but they've got a little bit of money, definitely not enough to live off of, but they do have to be going to school or working full time. And the money right. is, isn't that much. And so these pad split ideas or this concept, I'm like, maybe I should look into that as my next investment, Exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I, I love the guests that you guys had on. I think it was Brian and Gina. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're fantastic. So I would love to kind of circle back with them, but yeah, you, I mean, you have so many cool people. I mean, the story of Travis where he talked about, you know, after three years he woke up, lost 300 pounds, but it's truly <laughs> making small changes every day to be consistent. I'm like, this is what the girls need to hear. Right. Right. And That's so cool. it is, you, you talked about, I think after Christmas, um, about productivity over happiness for you and your kids. Yeah. And I was like, yes, yeah. I wrote it down. I'm like, feelings are fickle girls. Yeah. So you have to, you have to be productive. And so I'm like, you guys have to jump on Spencer's morning mastery. So hopefully <laughs> at some point you'll have a, you'll have a big following of, of some of the girls we mentor. Oh, good. That's awesome. That's really cool. I thank you so much for the support there. I, I appreciate uh, the energy and uh, just coming onto the call. Where can we go to find out more about the butterfly effect? Have you got the? I know you just created everything. Go, yeah, uh, I know. We just started. We just started creating everything. Like you said, we have a friends and family event on Friday. It's very intimate. It'll be truly just our friends and family. But I don't have my website up yet. Um, I mean, someone could always give me a call, and our butterfly effect number is six zero two eight three seven three seven seven seven. If they're interested, right now we're looking for a handful of mentors because anytime I walk into a group home, the girl that I'm mentoring, another girl will come up and say, can you be my mentor? And right oh. now I, um, I have four girls that I'm mentoring and I'm a CASA. I'm a court-appointed special advocate for two other cases. So I'm really wow. mentoring six teenagers. And as you know, that's a lot. <laughs> yes, it is. So I need, I need mentors, but also truly, like, I need experiences. I need these women, these young women that can come into a business and just do a ride-along. I know one of your guests talked about definitely do a ride-along. So I might reach out to him and see if, you know, if one of my girls can do a ride-along with him because one of them wants to get into real estate. Yeah. Um, so if they awesome. have a business or if we can shadow for a day, that would be amazing. So if if you've got an idea or if, no, if someone reaches out to you and says, I would love to, you know, have an intern or just a day experience for these girls, I would, I would, that would be the world to us. Okay. Awesome. That's really, really cool. I, I appreciate it. Uh, and I think that is the, the best thing in the world. So, well, actually, I thank you so much for uh, attending or just getting on the call and just being who you are and all that you do for uh, others in the community. I really appreciate it. You're, oh, you're a great well, thank example. Thank you. There. So, well, cool. We, we'll see you Friday night. Um, thank you so much for attending or getting on. And you yeah, guys, thank you for having on, us on, for sure. This is, this is great for Butterfly okay, Effect. Let me on. know when you get the website up because I want to get it out there okay. and, um, and be a big supporter of that. So, thank uh, you. We're working on it. I'll let you know. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. I appreciate you all.